I'm a member of Glitterplast. Today I'm going to be teaching Dream of You by Chungha. I'm going to be following Chungha through the whole dance, but for some of the parts you can't really see exactly what she's doing because of the camera work. So in those cases, I'll give you a couple of options on what I think is what she does or maybe what other cover dancers do. But yeah, when we get to it, we'll cross that bridge. Um, yep, let's get started. Alright, so you're going to be standing on the ground and you're going to want to make sure you have plenty of space in that direction and forward as well and in front and back. Um, I'm going to be a little bit cramped, so you might see me adjusting, and even when I do the filming, I might be like hitting things. Just ignore it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you're going to start, you're on your back. Your legs, your right leg is going to be extended a little further than your left leg, and then your toes are going to be pointed. So your, basically your right toe is extending out a bit further than your left toe. Your back is going to be arched really far up, like basically as far up as you can arch. And you're going to like maintain that arch by putting the top of your head on the ground. So you can push yourself with both hands, put your head on the ground, and that should give you a back arch. I'm going to lift up my shirt so you can kind of see how arched my back is. Now your right hand is going to be up above your head, not too far, just have it kind of a little bit right above your head. And your left hand, your elbow is going to be on the ground, and your left hand is going to be on your stomach. So you're holding here for your almost two eight counts. On the eight and, you're going to go right, left, down. So that's eight and one. I'm going to relax my body just because my head hurts a little bit. Um, so basically you're going up with your right foot, up with your left foot, and then crossing your left foot over. And on the two, that's when you release the arch in your back, and you're going to kind of bring your back down, and at the same time your right hand is coming down your body, your left hand is tracing up your body. So that'll look like one and two. On three, you're milking this. On the four, you're going to Swing your hands up, and your legs are also going to straighten. On five, you're going to kind of bring your legs in. So when you hit this up, your hands are going to hit it very sharply, but your legs are going to kind of hit that straight and just start rebounding right away. So that's five. On six, your hands are going to come down again. And you're going to arch your back again just a little bit, but not so much that your head has to come off the ground. So that's six. And then seven, you're going to roll over. So all together, from here, that's five. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so you just look back over and you're on your stomach, and that was on the seven, eight. Um, you can have your left foot up as you roll over, or you can have both feet down, it's up to you. But Chungha has her, just her left foot up. On the and, on the and of, after the one, so it'll be one and, that's when you come up onto your knees and just keep your bark back as arched as possible. And then two and, you're going to put your feet down one by one, so right, left. And then th on three, you're going to start rolling over. And if you can do the middle split, all you have to do is just swing your right foot back as far as you can. I don't really have space. And your left foot forward as far as you can. And then go over. I can't do the split. So what I do is when I swing my right foot back, I bend it so that I can come over and then milk downward like so. Make sure your hands are facing inward, so like they're, the fingers are facing each other to make this nice picture. So all of that with the counts is from here. This is five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven. On eight, you can kind of Roll back over and bring your right left hand over and you start coming around. So once again, all together, this is five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so you just finished coming over on the eight. On the one, you're going to land here with your right hand on your chest, left hand down, and your feet or your legs bent like so. And on the two, you're going to hit your shoulder forward. On the three, you're going to bring it back. On four, you're going to swing your right foot forward and your right hand around. And on five, you're going to kind of bring this in front of your eyes. Um, I think she says, your eyes all fixed on me. And when you do this, you can either, you can't really see what she does with her legs. So what I've seen people do is either bring the leg in and come around, or you can swoop your leg over and then bring it in once you hit kind of like around where your other foot is. So it'll be straight until here. So this is four, five. On six, you're gonna start rolling over. 
And then again, you can't really see exactly what she does. You can either stay here with your legs both bent or you can kind of stick your leg out. So this will be four, five, six, seven, or you can just do it four, four, five, six, seven. Up to you, whichever you like better. On the eight, you're gonna come back around and then roll over. And you really want to try to get as horizontal as possible. Just trying to kind of travel as far as you can. This is one, two, three is how much you have time to roll over. So you have a good amount of time. And then on the four, you want to step up with your left foot. And then you're going to trace your right hand down your body as your left hand comes around your butt and come up on five, six, seven, eight. And you really want to milk that five, six, seven, eight for as long as you can so that you're not stuck here being awkward until before the next move because it is a little slow. So that section with the counts from the top, this is five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so you just finished getting up on the five, six, seven, eight. On the eight, you want to reset to be facing forward. Now on the one, you're going to step onto your right, shoot your left leg out, bring your hands around and up for four beats. On the five, six, seven, eight, your hands are gonna be chasing your body the same way as you did when you were getting up in the last section. So right hand's coming down your chest, left hand is coming up your butt. At the same time, your body is gonna be sinking down and coming up. So from here, it'll look like this. On the eight, you're gonna bring yourself together. So feet together, hands are coming out and onto your hips. On the one, you're going to step out onto your right, do a head iso going left, right, and then you're going to step in, and your head's going to iso to the left again, but this time turn your head towards the left as your left shoulder comes forward and your body turns to the right. So that'll look like one and two, or that'll be one, two, three, four. Same thing on the other side, five, six, seven, eight. Um, you actually want to cut it off before the eight, so it'll be five, six, seven, and the eight, you're gonna step back with your right foot and you're gonna start turning. Your hands are gonna come up to your chest while you're turning, and you're gonna be going right, and then you wanna spin all the way around to face that 90. Um, so it's really fast, so just make sure you have enough momentum to make it through, and you have time to land on the one. So that'll be five, six, seven, eight, one. Um, all together, this is five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So at this point, you're going to want to have your hat if you have one. If not, you can just kind of like fake the movements without it. Honestly, it's probably easier without a hat. The hat is kind of a hassle. But just make sure it's kind of like in front of you, close enough that you can reach it, and then maybe a little bit to your right. Um, if you're trying to film this, you might need to have someone hand it to you because it's hard to put the hat in a place that you know you're going to be able to pick it up without really obstructing your dancing, dancing especially in the first half when you're on, doing, on the ground. Um, but you can definitely experiment with it and see what works for you. So we just ended um, turning. So this is eight. On the one you land down with your left foot and your hands are coming out behind you. So that's one, two, three, four, and you're gonna step over with your left foot and then bring your hands up down and around on the five, six, seven, eight and pick up your hat and your right leg is shooting out. So that's five, six, seven. On the eight, you kind of put your left hand and just like slick your hair back with it and then on the one, you're going to put your hat on and dip your body down again and kind of come up. And then on the five, six, seven, eight, you're going to bring your hands out to the sides of your hat and then pull them forward. You really want to make sure you put your hat on really securely because it's pretty hard to make sure your hat doesn't fall. Um, and if you can't get it on like as securely as you can during this part, sometimes I like use the beginning of this part to kind of tug the back down before I start bringing my hands forward. So all together, that part is five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven,
two, three, four, and five. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's do the counts for the first half. Make sure your hat is placed in front of you, just so like close enough so you can reach it, but not so close enough that it'll block you from doing things. And let's go ahead and get on the ground and get started. So this is five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So basically you're hitting and then turning your body. So that's five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and a four, and. On the five, you're gonna come down, and then six, come up. Seven, you're gonna turn so that your elbow is forward, your right elbow is forward. On and, up, you're going to switch your feet so your feet are going left, right, as you're Elbows turn over. So that's five, six, seven, and a. Uh. On eight, you're going to bring your left elbow down. On and, you're going to bring it back up, but this time you're going to kind of bring your body down towards it. So keep your elbow in place and then bring your body down. At the same time, your head is coming down. And on the one, you're going to bring your head back up and your elbow back down. So all together, um, just that second half from here, this is five six, seven, and an eight, and one. All together, this is five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and a four, and five, six, seven, and an eight, and one. All right, so you just finished on the uh, eight and one. 
On the two, you're going to bring your hand, hand, right hand over to your left hand, and that's going to initiate yourself to do a spin. So, so this is one, two. On three, you're going to land and pull your hands outwards. On and a, you're going to step left, right, and bring your hands up. You really want to need to push your hands behind your head so that it doesn't knock your hat out of the way. And then um, four and, you're going to go left, right with your hips. Then on five, you're going to come down, bend your knees, Bring your hands down to your head as you look upwards. This is a good chance for you to push your hat back down onto your head if it's like gotten loose in the last section. This is five, six, bring your hands and cross them over the knees as you bring your knees in and look down. And seven, you're gonna bring your hands out, look back up with your head and bring your knees out as well. And on the eight, you're gonna jump with your feet together and kind of slap your hands backwards like this. Um, imagine like if you're wearing a longer coat and you're just like swishing your coattails backwards. And that's the eight. So all together, this is five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and uh, four, and five, six, seven, eight. All right, so this next part of the dance is a lot more masculine. So the entire dance we've been very like femme and sexy up to now. This part is really mask, so just kind of like embrace that. I think a lot of people when they cover it kind of do this more femininely maybe because that's what they're comfortable with but I think it really adds contrast to the moves if you do this part more masculine. Um, so basically you land it here right. You want to put your left hand kind of like on where your like belt would be and your right hand over your head and then what you're doing is you're pelvic thrusting forward and that's going to cause yourself to jump. So if you like think about this as you bring your hip forward that can like push your body forward right. So this is going to be one, two, on three, and you're doing it again. You're just kind of like jumping. You don't need to add the pelvic thrust for this one. And bring your head left in. And then on four, and you're going to jump out, and your head's going to go right in. So that's one, two, three, and four, and. On the five, you're going to come here. So jump with your feet crossed over each other. Bring your hands behind your head in these two triangles. On six. Bring your hands down as you turn around. And then on seven, eight, bring your right hand up to your head as your left hand is up. And do more pelvic thrusts. Seven and eight. On and a, uh, you want to come up. Bring your hat up and over. Keep your weight onto your, on your left foot, so don't step with your right foot yet. So just kind of come up on eight and. So all together, that's five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and a. All right, so you just finished on the and a. On the one, this is where you're going to step out onto your right foot and bring your, and you're going to kind of push the head hat out and then in. So from here, your arm is straight, but then when you do this, you really want to like push your chest outwards so that you can extend even further and then bring it back to your chest. So that's one, two, on three and you're going to bring your, do a Charleston with your feet. So keep your weight on your toes and you're going to bring your ankles outwards as your right foot comes up and then down and then same thing on the other side. So as you pick your foot up, that's when your ankles are outwards and as you put them down, that's when your ankles are inwards. You might want to look up just the Charleston shuffle and how to do it because I don't really have time to like explain the whole thing if you're having trouble with that but you can definitely find YouTube videos online. So this will be, um, have your left hand behind your back. As you're doing the right, you want to have your head iso to the left. So that's three and, and then four and you're going to have your head, have your head as iso to the right as your left foot comes up. Then on five and, you're going to jump out, up, and on six, you're going to bring the hat over the left side of your face. And then on seven, eight, you're gonna bring yourself down, put your hat down as you come back around on the one. So all together, this is five, six, seven, and eight, and a one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight. All right, starting from here, you're gonna be doing most of the moves on the don't make me, don't make me, um, so the musicality should be pretty straightforward, but for the counts, um, after you come around, 
on the one, on the and two end, that's when you initiate. So and, two, and. So your legs are bent, your back is arched, your hands are hugging yourself, and really just, if you want to really milk it out, just like have your fingers come down one at a time. And bring, toss your head back a little bit to just add more drama. So this is one and two and three. On and four end, you're going to turn, and your right hand's going to come to your hips or your waist, and your left hand's going to flick upwards. Your left foot is out, and your right leg is bent. So this is and four and. Then on and six and, you're going to roll your hands down, bring your left foot in, and come all the way down. Then on the seven, you're going to bring your hands up to your waist and try to keep this level so don't come up, but just bend your back a little bit more and bring your head up. And then on the eight, you're going to bring your hands around and straighten forward and land here on the one. So all together, this is five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, one. All right, so you just finished on the eight, one. On and two and you're gonna step to right, left, and come to the other side. So your hips are out to the left, now they're coming to the right. At the same time, your hands just do a little sore with your fingers, starting from your pinkies. So this is one and two and three and four and, once again, five and six and, bring your hands forward and close them like spiraling in from your pinkies once again. And seven, you're gonna bring your hands up, left hand up, right hand out, and then on eight you're gonna come down, and then when you come up you can kind of bend your arms a little bit. So all together, this is five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven eight one all right so you just finish here on the seven eight one this arm circle is a little complicated so just do it slowly and make sure you just listen carefully so you're going to stepping the spin you're stepping back with your left foot and then coming all the way around and then you can kind of pick up your left foot again as you come up to bring your feet back together at the same time your hands, so your right hand is on top, right? You want to bring this hand down kind of to the back, but also just kind of to the side if that's easier for you. So that's as you step back. And then as you turn, you're going to bring it up to the side in front of you. And then you're going to keep turning. So basically, kind of if you just follow your hand and look at it, you should naturally turn to the other side. And your back hand just does the opposite of that, right? And then once you're here, you just keep going until it lands on your waist and your left hand lands on the side of your head. So with the counts, this is seven, eight, one, and two, and three. On and four and, you're bringing your left hand down and your right hand above your head. So your right hand just takes the place of your left hand as your left hand comes down to your shoulder. Then on six and six and, you're stepping out onto your left foot and hip, your hips are going around in your circle from your left to your right. Keep your legs bent. This is and six and seven. Bring your hips up. And then eight, one, you're going right, left. And this time your hips are going around with your legs bent so that you make a different picture from before. So this is and six and seven, eight, one. All together with counts, this is five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven eight one all right so you just finished on the seven eight one you're being, going to be doing similar to before bring your hands around and then go and two and towards the right then and four and and then you're going to be swiveling your hips on five six and, or five and, and you really want to like bring your body downwards as you're swiveling so that on the six, you can step out onto your right foot a little bit and then bring your hands, stretch your hands down with your palms facing outwards and then bring yourself back up. So all together, that's five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven. Then on the eight and, you're going to hit, punch, left, right, as your hips switch to the left. So all together, this is five, six, 
seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, and. All right, let's go through the chorus with counts. This is five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and a four, and five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, three, and a four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and and six, and seven, eight, one, and two, and and four, and and five, and seven, eight, one, and two, and and four, and and six, and seven, eight, one, and two, and and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, and. on the eight and on the one you're going to hold here and then on the two you're going to switch your weight to the right and bring your left hand around your head and you're going to look towards your right so that's two three and on four you're going to come sink down onto your left again and trace your hands down your legs so this is four five on six you're going to jump up and switch your hair out with your hands and then on seven eight you're going to step back onto your left foot from your right hand up like you're holding like a goblet and then same thing with your right foot and your left hand. So that eight count is five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, you're gonna step, jump onto your left foot and bring your right hand over like so. So swing it out like this. One, on two, you're gonna bring your left hand up to your head and your right hand to your hips. And you're gonna step right, left, right. So that's one, two and three and then you're going to step back onto your left foot to turn around on four and then on five six seven you're going to sink down uh downwards tracing your hands down your legs and then on the eight you're going to put your hand down and swing your feet around to the right side as your left hand comes up like so so that second eight count all together from here it will look like one two three four five six seven eight one altogether that part from the end of the course is five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight all right so we just finished here on the slide on the one you're going to bring yourself back onto your elbows and bring your legs up and then you're going to bring them down on two and you're going to tilt your head back on the three you bring your knees up and bring your head back forward on four and you're going to go right leg up cross over your left leg then on five and you're going to bring your right leg up again then switch to your left leg and cross over your right leg on six and on seven you're going to start coming up and you can keep your legs crossed over each other like so um i find it a little uncomfortable so when i do it i mostly just like uncross them now but if you want to be more accurate to the dance, you should keep them crossed. And then on the eight, you put your hand on your waist. So that eight count is five, six, seven, eight, one, 
two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight. From here, you're going to bring your hand out on the one, kind of like you're holding a goblet again. On two, bring it across. Three, you're going to bring it up. On four, and you want to bring it around. And then you're going to bring your left hand up, and then bring both hands to your chest as you shimmy your shoulders. So that section is one, two, three, four, and five, and six. At this point, I uncross my legs because for the next part, they need to be uncrossed. And then you hold, milk this back until seven, and on eight, and you go right, left, with your, um, the back of your hands facing the crown and your uh, wrist all the way bent. So that's eight and. Now all together from the slide, that section is five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, and. All right, so you just finished here on the eight and. On the one, you're going to bring your hands back and then kind of toss your hair outwards. Um, and at the same time, just kind of with your head, kind of toss it back a little bit. So that's one, two, three. On four, put your hands down behind you. And on five, six, seven, just toss your head back a lot more. So that's five, six, seven. On eight, you can kind of start bringing yourself up. And then on the one, you're going to have your hands out like here and start coming up with your body. So that's one, two, three. On four, you're going to bring your right foot up. And then on five, you're going to bring your hands out and pull them up as you get up. So that, that goes through seven. I'm not going to teach the eight. I'm going to teach the eight in the next section because it flows into the next part. So all together, that section is five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we ended here coming up on the five, six, seven. On the eight and you're gonna bring your right hand to your left elbow and with your wrist bent like so, so that you're like, it's bent where your palm is facing downwards. And you can kind of like claw your hands out so it's not like a straight hand, just like kind of let your fingers be like majestic and pretty. And you're gonna bring your arm inside and then come out. So that's eight and on one you're gonna swoop this around on two and you're gonna swirl your hands up. So keep your hands together at the wrist and then just like roll them inwards and keep your hands split so that it's like elegant. So this is three, so this is eight and one, two, three, four, on and start bringing your hands down. And on five, six, seven, eight, trace them over your leg as you bring your left leg up to this 90 degree. So this is five, six, seven. On, once you finish tracing your leg, just keep bringing your hands up kind of towards your body. Five, six, seven, eight. Then from here you're going to go like this. So your left elbow is up and your hand is following and your right elbow is down and your hand is following it as you bring your body around towards the left. So this is one, two, three, four. Then on five, six, seven, you're gonna turn back to the right and bring your left hand from behind your head forward as you turn this way. So this is five, six, seven, eight. That section all together is five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're going to the second chorus. Um, so you're here. On the one, you want to jump onto your tippy toes, lean your body forward, and then cross your hands over yourself as if you're hugging yourself and then just keep your head tilted up. And you hold here for one, two, three, four. On the end, you can come down. Um, this is when she's like cover up with hats, so I'm not sure exactly how she gets between the two poses. Um, but I just kind of come down and then pop my left foot forward. Again, you can't really see her legs. I think it just looks nice if you have your knee popped. And then, so this is one, two, three, four, and bring your hands to behind your head. And if you have long hair, just like trace Pull it out behind you and just like lean your body back as far as you can and lean your head back as well. So this is five, six, seven, eight. On the end, come back down. And you want to start with your legs bent and your hands touching your ankles. 
and then on one, two, three, four, you're going to come up and straighten your legs. So this is one, two, three, four. And on five, six, seven, you're going to bring your left shoulder back and then reset in preparation for the rest of the chorus. And then on eight, you're going to smack backwards, um, kind of like you're smacking your coat toes back once again. So all together, that section is five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're at the second chorus. Um, so this is mostly the same as the first chorus, but it is a bit more feminine. So if you remember the first chorus, I said this is like the masculine part of the song. She was in like a suit. Now she's like in her bodysuit, so it's a much more like feminine version of the song choreo, but it's the same moves, just slightly more feminine. So right from the beginning, after you do the coattail slap, you're going to bring your hands to your hips, and instead of doing that like pelvic thrust thing forward, you're just going to pop your chest inwards, and that's going to bring your knee upwards, and you can kind of just like stand with your back arched to make sure that you like have the like feminine form going on, right? So this is one. Then two, same thing on the other side. Three and, you bring your right hand up to your chest and your head isos to the left. And then you're gonna jump out. And then you're gonna go four and. And this time, you can like add a bit of a hip swivel to the, to the head iso as well. So just the first four counts, we'll go five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four and. Then from here, it's the same thing, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two, and, and four, and, and six, and seven, eight, one, and two, and, and four, and, and six, and seven, eight, one, and two, and, and four, and, and six, and seven, eight, one and two and and four and five and six seven eight all right let's go through from the second verse through the second chorus with counts so we're starting on the eight and this is five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one Two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two, and and four, and and six and seven eight one and two and and four and and six and seven eight one and two and and four and and six and seven eight one and two and and four and five and six seven eight <laughs>
Once again, we're going to be using your, our hat very soon, so I'm just going to throw that there. Um, and whenever you're filming, just make sure you do a cut or have someone pass it to you. So after here, we're going to step over with your left foot and then trace our hands down our body and really just like let your head be the last to kind of turn. Just turn each the body part like one at a time and let each other body part going upwards drag behind it. So you're turning two, three, four and also smoothly slide down your leg. So all of this is one move. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eight, you wanna come up and arch your back. Then on one, two, three, four, you're gonna bring your hands around and you're going to circle your hips around. So bring your knee up and then as that comes down, bring your hip up and, comes, and come around. And then during this, you're also gonna turn yourself forward after the hip roll. So what your hands are doing is they're just coming up and you're turning at your wrist. So that's one, two, three, four. On the four, you're gonna, um, wherever you are, just come up and then come up onto your toes as well. Then on five, six, seven, eight, you're just gonna swivel your hands up here. Um, what you're doing is you're just kind of, you're gonna swivel your hands outwards. And then as you turn, eventually you're gonna get to a point where you don't, can't get any further. At that point, kind of slide your wrists over each other and then swivel your arms, hands back the other way. And then once you hit the point where you have to like open up, you're back to your wrists facing each other. So you're four, and at the same time, you're just swiveling your hips right, left, right, and then on the eight, bring your hands down. So those two eight counts all together are five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so you just finished on the five, six, seven, eight. Now on the one, you're gonna step forward with your left foot and bring your hands down towards the right, both of them kind of parallel. On two, you're gonna start bringing your, bringing your left foot back and your hands around with it. And you're gonna step back onto your left foot and spin around, so that's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you're gonna bring your hands down and they're gonna kind of bend at the elbows and you're gonna bring your right foot out. Five, six, seven, eight, grab your hat. One, two, three, four, you're putting your hat on. Five, six, seven, eight, you're sinking down and bringing your hands out and upwards. And then they have an extra four count in there where you do your hat thing once again and in preparation for the chorus. So all together, that part is five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. All right, here we are again at the last chorus. Same thing as the first chorus for most of the chorus. So I'm just gonna go through and make any changes. Once again, this is the masculine version of the chorus. So just prepare to do that. So this is five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and a four, and five, six, seven, and an eight, and one, two, three, and a four, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. On here, on the end, you're still going here, and then you're just gonna bring your head to your head chest, 
instead of doing like the around thing. So if you bring your head to your chest, you're also skipping the Charleston. So you hold here until dream of where you step forward and bring your hat up. And then you hop outwards and bring your hat down the side of your head. So all together, um, let's start from the pelvic thrusting part. This is five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then bring yourself around to continue the chorus the same as before, and two, and, and four, and, and six, and seven, eight, one, and two, and, and four, and, and six, and seven, eight, one, and two, and, and four, and, and six, and seven, eight, one, and two, and, and four, and, from here, from here um, instead of doing the five and six, you're just going to bring yourself around by stepping left foot backwards, right foot backwards, bring your hands down, and then turn, and imagine you're putting your hat over your head. If you're doing cuts, you can cut to this pose, but with your hat in your hand once again. If not, you can just kind of hold here. And that's the end of the song. All right, so now let's go through from the bridge to the end with counts. So this is five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Four and one, two, three and a four and five, six, seven and an eight and one, two, three and a four and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two and and four and and six and seven, eight, one and two and and four and and six and seven eight one and two and and four and and five six and seven eight one and two and and four and five and six